Hello everybody and welcome back to another Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde uh, explanation of the talents for the Shadow Shurikens, the Magic Mines, and the Vines. All three are maxed in this account and I will be going over their talents as well as how to effectively use them as well as do a run focusing on them. To get started, we'll start with the vines. Uh, the vines start here, uh, right off of the Vivian tree, uh, and they do get cooldown reduction, which is very important. AoE as well, very important, and more cooldown reduction. Follow this tree up with some dot damage, some dot length, and some more dot damage. All of their damage is done as a dot form, so uh, dot damage is key. Uh, moving up to the top right, this may be the third unlock, technically, uh, but it is closest on the screen at the moment. Uh, and the vine, next vine upgrade is up here. Off of this, we have some cooldown reduction at a 0.2. The others were 0.1, so that's uh, very nice. Another 0.2 reduction. And an extra vine. An extra vine off the start is amazing. Uh, the next, we have dot speeds, they tick faster. More dot speeds, they tick faster. Some dot damage, so they hit a little bit harder. And then a banner for dot length, so they will last longer doing all of that damage. The final vine upgrade is over to the left here. And as you can see, there is one major upgrade and two miners on this tree. It is uh, dot damage, dot damage, cooldown reduction, cooldown reduction, another vine to start with. And the banner is a size upgrade, a very, very nice banner upgrade. So this is where the three vines are located and what all of their upgrades do for them. Uh, next, we will move to the Shadow Shuriken. Uh, this is unlocked right after the vines, uh, as you can see. And we have some cooldown reduction, crit chance, damage, crit chance, and more cooldown reduction. Uh, the crit chance is amazing on these. It does allow you to not max out the quick, uh, crit chance and a quantity on the banner upgrade, which means you get more shurikens per upgrade. The next uh, shuriken path is over here to the bottom left, or just do left, I guess, on the west side. Uh, we have two on this path with a cooldown reduction and a size increase. Uh, this is also after a plus one damage, so it's very nice following this tree. Uh, we get some crit chance, cooldown reduction again, damage increase, and a banner for their crit chance. Yes, they will be gaining 10% crit per upgrade, which means no matter what, you can get the shurikens up to 100% critical chance. Uh, this does make them very, very devastating. Uh, the final upgrade for the shurikens is up here. Uh, it is in this big tree. It does also lead to a damage increase and a soul drop rate, increasing the drop rate of your souls, which is very, very handy, <laughs> just to throw that out there. Um, this path over here gives you more crit-based crit chance, speed so they fly faster, damage, and a damage plus one to their banner, so you're effectively doubling all of your banners. And then on this path, you have a damage plus one, another shuriken, and then just another one. It doesn't actually affect the banner. It's a little weird that it has the banner symbol, but hey, that is, you know, not my decision there. Um, now for the mines, uh, there are two mines that we can actually see right over here. Uh, the first one is off of the tornado. Uh, Twister, I guess? No, it is tornado. Yes. Um, and this is the first magic mine upgrade, uh, and you will get 10% bigger mines, a bit of cooldown, a bit more cooldown, a little bit more cooldown, and then another mine. Now it does say you will lay plus one. This actually means your maximum cap of mines is increased by one. So every four seconds you will lay one mine. You can have at most, you know, two, then three, then four. Uh, on screen at once. You will not lay another mine if you are at this cap. Should one explode, you will lay a mine. Um, so that is all this does. It doesn't actually mean you're going to have an, in, you know, you will keep laying extra mines forever, or you'll lay two mines at once. It just means your cap of mines is increased. Um, the mines do inflict massive damage and then lay a dot. So this will increase the dot length and the dot length and the dot damage followed up by a plus one da uh, banner damage for the explosion, not for the dot. 
following the path past the cleave ability here and the crit chance you will see another magic mine upgrade over here i believe this is actually the third one that you would get uh but hey beggars can't be choosers <coughs> and this here leads to plus one damage plus 10 percent size another mine that you can have on the field at a time and then plus one damage five percent crit chance and a banner for dot damage so your dot damage banner will be increased by one thus making your dot hit significantly harder the final mine upgrade is to this top right side is actually across from the vines that we saw earlier and here we will see a plus one damage plus one damage and again these are the base damages not the dot damages uh, down here we have size cooldown reduction dot damage so this is that dot damage and then just plus two damage <laughs> so again the the super upgrade does not affect the banner it sort of just is what it is it's nice but you know a banner upgrade would be more preferable um, so these are the talents. Uh, I am now going to do a heroic run featuring these three weapons. Uh, I will start with the vines, pick up the mines, focus on the shurikens and the vines with mines as a backup, and then maybe I'll just pick up one other thing, you know, orbital fire or something without ever actually upgrading it just to have a little bit of extra protection. Uh, we will do this on a heroic uh, map uh, i have not done the heroic dark forest i don't know how this is gonna go uh this is a very interesting build for me so we'll see how it goes if you want to stick around check it out have fun if not thank you for joining and have a wonderful day i did not click heroic did i or did i yeah shows on the top right so let's see how well these vines can do early on. I wanted the vines as the starter weapon because they will do the best against hordes in the long run, short run. Uh, we kind of have to farm up quite a little bit. Uh, so we will pick up our shurikens right off the bat and we're gonna get real close and fingers crossed throw one right into that mix. Thankfully we did. I'm gonna focus on AOE uh for the vines initially get some number as well and then we're gonna focus on the shurikens to handle the larger enemies uh, as you can see it's already getting a little dicey but the vines are able to keep protection in a line fairly well i do want to go out and explore but at the same time this build is not exactly meant for exploration uh, we will get some more shurikens to throw which will help greatly. We need to get out of this little corner, get some experience, and there we go. The vines did finally clear a path out. Can ask and you shall receive. The game is kind at times. Uh, this is going to be rather difficult long term. As you can see, the red reapers are spawning. Uh, these are the heroic enemy that can't be killed. Uh, you can, I would say, disperse them. Uh, they will drop experience, but as you can see, they will just get right back up. And the vines are not going anywhere near where they need to go. Uh, thankfully, it doesn't matter too much. We are losing a little bit of health, and I have not seen the mines yet. So, mines would be fantastic, as the mines would give us protection immediately under us. But the vines do make these walls that enemies essentially can't even cross. Uh, it is a safety wall. Thanks to the cooldown that we have through our talents. Uh, there's the mines. Fantastic. So with the cooldown, uh, the mines do... Or the vines are up pretty frequently. Uh, I don't even need any more. Uh, the number-wise... It does make it go longer, which is fantastic. I more so want it to have the AoE, so it spreads out. Uh, I would like it killing more things, not killing things further away. Um, so let's even search for some AoE increases on these vines. Looks like they are getting bigger already. Fantastic. Even bigger. Which way are we shooting? Up in this direction. 
I'm just going to follow this until we get a fair bit of levels right now. Uh, as you can see, the critical hit chance of these shurikens, 10%. Starts out at 36. So you need 7 levels at maximum to get to 100%. If you pick up a pet, you may only need 6. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, we will get some AoE on the mines, though, again. Right now, we're more worried about just protecting ourselves, getting things, you know, in a point where we are safe. And, uh, yeah, I think we're slowly getting there. Get some more shurikens, just to keep them throwing out. This is not necessarily the best map for this. Uh, I would have preferred a more open map. Uh, but I also believe that any build, uh, given enough levels, can do any map. Because that's one of the beauties that I think this game has, is the fact that each weapon is different in vast ways that they complement each other very well, and each weapon can stand out on its own quite well. As you can see, these vines, they are already massive, um, and we are still making them bigger. We now have massive areas that we can go down, uh, they come out, essentially, once one row ends, another one can begin, and we're actually able to get even more mines. And again, the mines will protect where we were. So, they protect directly under us, the vines give us a place where we can go, it's a good combination to have. Uh, the slow effect on the vines means basically as long as we're inside of them, nothing will hit us as well. And then once we get the shadow shurikens up, uh, they will be our boss killers. They are incredibly powerful on bosses. Uh, the hardest part with them is the fact that you have they aim at the closest target when it is their turn, time to fire. Um, that makes them fairly difficult with hordes, because all it takes is one enemy, and now they're firing in the exact opposite direction you want them to go. I would love the vines to go to the left. Uh, they are not working out for me, but we finally got it. Now we can pick up all this delicious, delicious souls. Um, we do have a boss. Uh, he's trapped at the moment, which, while good, we want him to be close so he can get hit by these shurikens, and look, and it's already killed him. And this is a very low-level version of them at the moment. So, everything is sort of working as planned. I will need to pick up some health sooner than later. Uh, this shop may be able to help with that. So let's just see what happens here. Uh, again, oh, this pet here... Uh, Harty is the greatest defensive pet, I believe, in the game. Uh, as you can see, I am at 63 health. Uh, I mean, what I need more than anything else is more health. Uh, damage reduction from the damage reduction pet would not come anywhere near the amount of health that you can gain through Harty. Uh, I believe we did get a heart there, which is good. Stay in the vines. They will protect us uh, as long as they... They are down, <laughs> thankfully. Um, ooh, it's getting a little dicey. But. And we have our fine protection. And it's gone. Goes down to another section. And the vine. Ooh, and the vines are so big that we actually do not have the speed to walk to the end of them. So more vines right here effectively would not help us, other than potentially clearing things out a tiny bit faster. Let's hope we can get the shooting at the boss, and he's dead because of it. Fantastic. Exactly what we wanted to see. We'll get some hearts from this, keep our health nice and high. We're already back over 100. We were down to around 50 or so before. Let's walk into the center, see where they go. Fingers crossed they go into a lot of things and not away from them, like it's, uh, like it's doing. Was the finds the best decision? Eh, probably not. The problem with the shurikens is they don't pierce, so as you can see, they're not actually killing that many individual small things where that can kill a huge swath of them at a time. Uh, the problem is you needed to hit that swath at a time. <laughs> so, trade-offs here and there. But when we're in the center of things, 
it can kill quite a few. Um, we'll increase its damage so it uh, can keep up with the increasing health pools that Heroic does have. It does increase health pools per minute. So, and we're getting some better vineage now. Uh, we will reduce the cooldown of our shuriken so they can keep going. Let's get one that hits the reds. Perfect. Should hit him twice. These red uh, enemies are, I think, incredibly cool. They are also the worst things in the world uh, because they will forever respawn. Um, thankfully, with the vines here, with the mines, they will follow us, take the mines still respawn, but hey, uh, thankfully we have some form of protection. And we have to actually do some running. We want this boss, or bosses. So let's get some shurikens thrown at him. Should kill them both. And... Get a few more of the mines. Let's... Oof. is definitely more difficult. Uh, not that I was anticipating, just quite difficult in general. Um, although, again, we are starting to get our health back already thanks to those bosses, which is fantastic. We will increase the AoE again. It has been a little lacking that we have not gotten any more of those. And hopefully we, we have mines behind us, vines ahead of us, free to move around as much as we want. And uh, get some health and some damage. Or did I get experience and damage? Uh, what have you? It will be fine. I have complete confidence in the ability of the vines and the shurikens to carry us through. And the mines are the ultimate for behind us every time the reds get close now. They're starting to get blown up by these mines. It's a great combination. I find the mines are the best uh, protection for behind you. Uh, they also can, if you do upgrade them very high, they do have incredible damage and their dot ticks very well. Uh, for the most part, I tend to keep them low just for that, okay, I'm walking away, I don't want anything to come up behind me and uh, get a sneak attack in. Uh, as you can see in this case, right now that's exactly how they're being used, although the vines are doing the same job when they do come behind us. So, do want this pet. Want some vines down. Ooh, taking a few hits here and there. But again, this is one of what I would consider not the worst builds in general, but... Not exactly something... Uh, let's go for critical strike chance increase. See if we can uh, cut out one level of the Shadow Shurikens for needing uh, to get to 100%. Uh, that is exactly how you do it. So now we can keep the cooldown for this. Uh, as you can see, the uh, Orbital Fire, still level 1 or 0 if you want to call it that. Whatever you want to call it. We haven't put a single point into it. We never will. Uh, it is just there, so we don't have to have a choice of multiple weapons at any given time. And, uh, you know, it looks good. That tiny bit of protection. It's not too much, but it adds up in the long run. A lovely chest. Um, I didn't even... I already forgot to mention that. We are basically full health again. Uh, between Hardy... And the chest that we've opened, uh, it's a beautiful thing. And this chest will pop. Get a couple more hearts. Fantastic. The shurikens are coming out fast and fierce now. Get some AoE on them. And... Uh, get some more experience. Get more dot damage. Again, in Heroic, the one thing that is most pivotal, uh, that is easily neglected, is the fact that enemies not only start with more health, but every minute they get 
even more health. So it's very easy to get complacent and say, well, my damage is good enough. And don't get me wrong, once you have enough points and things, uh, you know, meta progression-wise and stuff, you can get to points where your damage is enough. Um, for instance, the shurikens, they are critting for 63 right now. Uh, I believe they're at the 70% crit rate. Uh, even at 100% at crit rate, they'll be hitting for 63 every single one. Uh, their damage is quote-unquote enough for uh, trash. Until the end of the game, really. Their damage is plenty. Even the mines, their damage is currently 19. And again, this is with only one damage increase at plus four per banner that means they have another 36 damage to go so they hit very hard and with your base crit damage and things like that they can crit i have seen these crit for over 100 so mine damage on explosions is strong but again mines in this regard are primarily more of a safety feature we are showing off the safety feature that they provide by having something that is placed behind you that can guard your butt at all times. Um, right now, I really would like the vines to go to the left. Of course, they go to the right. Or, I want them to go to the right. It went to the left. We will be going to the left to follow them because we are now sort of at the point where we just need to survive this uh, onslaught. And again, I can stand right here and not move. The vines take care of everything. They are just that big, that powerful, and the shurikens just can handle any larger enemies that come nearby. The, the ghosts with the giant purple cape, they have hundreds of health, I believe, in this mode. They get eaten up in fractions of a second. Um, as you can see, the shurikens are shooting out in massive quantities now. We are up to 32. Uh, I believe that is level 9. Uh, nope, that is 8. So we are getting even more coming up. Uh, and we are at almost the crit cap. So they, again, you'll see some 20s in there. Uh, one thing to note as well with the shurikens is while their damage increase is plus 2, once you hit 100% crit cap, that plus 2 is a guaranteed plus 6. So every damage banner is actually 6 points of damage, and not just the basic 2. Um, so as you can see, we'll get it to 91%. Make sure that is able to destroy everything it touches. This fella, I want him dead. Okay. He just died right before the shurikens fired on him. That's fine. Prove me a liar. It's fine. But as you can see, we're still moving along. Again, this build, it's not something I would ever do willingly. Um, I, I don't think this is a standard winning build, especially for this level. Um, I prefer to have a uh, group orientated move, cleave, uh, spears, something along those lines to have consistent damage around me for hordes. Um, but I'm doing this just to sort of prove that even without those, um, oh, uh, even without those types of moves, you are able to have a fully, uh, a full build that is able to beat anything you desire. Uh, I do believe that any combination of abilities can be any level, uh, as long as you get a few early levels that can expedite your growth. And different levels definitely bring different challenges. Should have gone into the chest first, would have had the extra five, but hey, with that, uh, we will take some hearts. Why not? And again, it's going fine. I'll take a hit now and then. I'll say that as I willingly run into things. Uh, but we're coming close to the end already. We're at 13 minutes. Nothing is uh, standing up to the shuriken onslaught at the moment. Uh, the vines can handle any hordes that we need to deal with. Uh, I, oh, I cleave or spears. All of the eyes would be dead. Uh, this is a great farming moment, too. 
Um, as you can see, oh, it's beautiful. Um, hmm. You want to get the number? The cooldown. Uh, let's get some more numbers. Throw out more. Throw some out faster. Hello, mini boss. Goodbye, mini boss. I did take a hit or two there. Not a problem. We got double chest here. Lots of hearts. Oh, yeah, shurikens do not handle things like these eyes well in the slightest. Uh, yeah, I guess more. So let's see how big we can make these vines. They're massive. We are dwarfed in comparison, and they are just a safety zone. Uh, we are, again, coming close to the end, so right now I just hope that safety zone gives me... Ooh, the pumpkins can survive in the vines now. That's just how strong they have become. The pumpkins can uh, survive the patches. So, you can see that the health increases are dramatic uh, as time goes on. Understandably so. Uh, I just am a slight bit paranoid that by the end uh, there will be so many monsters that are left that the shurikens will not target the boss for an extended period of time. And that's my biggest concern with the shurikens right now. Uh, I have no control over where they go other than by getting close to things. Um, that is how you control where a shuriken goes. So, fingers crossed, it's close enough to the boss. Now, the boss of this area is slow and hangs out outside, so him being the closest is not likely for quite a while. Um, and uh, he is well protected. So we are going to have to cut through that. Unfortunately, you're not cutting... Oh, oh, there we go. That is everything that I wanted to see. Oh. Perfect, perfect. Look at his health. Just melt away to these. And we did it. Look at that. Oh, that was a little close, but still at half of my health. So, as you can see, even a build that I think is... I don't want to say trash, because I don't believe anything is pure trash. Um, I was able to get through it. was not able to collect nearly as much as I would like. Uh, normally, my goal is between 60 and 80 heroic shards, 2,500 or so blues. But hey, you know, it was done. So, I am uh, pleased for that. Uh, so, if you have stuck around, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or want to see any other weapon combinations... Uh, let me know. I believe any weapon combination can do any map. It may be slow and tedious, uh, but I do believe it is possible. Uh, if you would like, I mean, to see uh, other things, such as Grand Hex, uh, I'm planning on going over that in a future uh, video. Uh, I just want to get the last upgrade or two. Uh, I think that actually is the last Grand Hex upgrade that I currently have to get. So, Grand Hex is uh do um i think the worst spell in the game but as i said everything can kind of have a place um same thing with the arrow i will be doing an arrow video it is just very very expensive to finish off some of these things uh bone on the list as well uh again very expensive for some of the last upgrades um it's uh it's not cheap <laughs> so um but i will happily get there and uh get those videos out uh, if you do want to see the power of the bone not fully upgraded those are in the other videos uh arrow is a boss killer uh arrow shuriken and bone i believe are my three boss killer weapons um so uh, if you want to see any of those just let me know uh, and then there's also tornado which just has uh a few Two points left, I think. Yeah, just the two. But as you can see, that's 10,000. 10,000 uh, blue gems, or rune stones, which I will uh, be getting, and killing 2,000 of those guys won't be too bad. Uh, I'll actually start farming that uh, heroic next. But thank you if you stayed this long, and have a wonderful day.